I'm so glad you could join me for this week's toy rotation. I'll be showing you all the toys that we have in our playroom this week, as well as some decor. Every single thing is linked below, and thank you so much for shopping through my links. Make sure you like, subscribe, and let's get into it. So we'll start with this wall first. So first I have this Ikea Flissat shelf, and I have a numbers tracing board, a clock. Those are both from Treasures from Jennifer. This 100 board with the little coin rings that is from Modern Imaginations. And this beautiful magnifying glass is from Tree Fort Toys and a couple of our favorite books. I also have these beautiful wall decals that I got from Amazon and those will be linked as well. Then we have our Ikea kitchen. On top I have Austin's puzzle from Dazzle Your Puzzle. I do have a discount code for that linked. If you see some Grimm's around, these are ones that aren't really out for play. They're more for display, but if they want to use them, they definitely can. These beautiful wooden pots are from Melissa and Doug, and we really love those. And then we also have the Melissa and Doug food groups in here, and these definitely have been a good buy, so those will definitely be linked. Then I have our wet erase board that I use as a magnetic board with some Melissa and Doug magnets. This train table is usually in another part of our house, but I do like moving bigger items around just to keep things fresh. This one is from Hape. I did get it off of Facebook Marketplace and the prior owner did glue everything down, which I kind of like because there's zero frustration and it just all stays put and my son can get frustrated really easily. And then in the Ikea dollhouse above, I just put a few things to use with the train table, like these rainbows, which could be bridges or the stones. Up here, I have more of those bird wall decals. I love them, they're so cute. And then this hand kite from Tree Fort Toys and a couple of Sarah's silks. My son likes to wear these as capes or we use them as different landscapes as well. And this banner here, I have the uh, string and the clips linked on my Amazon store. And then these are from my Etsy shop. So you can actually just download it and print it from home or print them at Staples. And now for our main shelf, down on the bottom on one of the bamboo dish racks that I recommend are the Way to Play Roads. These are rubber roads that just stick together. These can be used outside, let's say at the beach or in the bath. They're really nice to have. Then we have our Magnetiles. Magnetiles has this cute little bin that unzippers here and turns into a really cool play mat. So I love that little bin to hold our Magnetiles. This is the Grimm's Stacker, wooden stacker. That's for my one-year-old. I made these little houses and these are perfect to use on the train table if they'd like. We have a new book from Easter. And then I do have our Grapat Lola up on the top shelf. My sons both can't reach this shelf, so this is more of decor section. And then I also have the Lola set up here in a tray so that if we do wanna play with it, that it is right here and ready to go. Down here, I use this mug tree hack. I have these linked as well as some Grapat rings for color matching as well as posting for my one-year-old. My three-year-old uses that as well. And then I have this beautiful puzzle, and this is from Busy Puzzle. It's so amazing, and my son has actually now learned all of his continents. And this is one of our new favorite puzzles. He loves this little airplane, he flies it around, and it is just a gorgeous rainbow puzzle, and you will not be disappointed in grabbing this one. These bins are from Ikea. They are wire baskets with a wooden handle. I have one that's empty for things that I wanna put in. And then I have these beautiful wooden coins from Tree Fort Toys. So this is a matching game with insects. He loves that. And then these are the alphabet letters. They're double-sided, super cute. And those are great learning activities. They have yoga ones as well, space theme, anything you can think of, they have them. This basket is our fidget basket. So we have this little carrot, this one from fat brain toys and then this purple circle my son's favorite color is purple so he loves that one as well and then the fat brain toys spin again this is the perfect 
toy for, I mean, my son used this from six months and up in all different ways. So I used to load it first for him and then he would lift this out and undo it for me. And now he can put the pole in and obviously load it up himself. I love this and it is a perfect gift. I'll have the print and the removable wall decals all linked for you guys. I have a little letter board here and then some decor on top because my kids can't reach the shelf. I do use these to hold items as well, but right now they're just stacked. Here I have a little farm display set up. It's great to display toys for your kids and kind of show them how they can be played with. These are Hulse Tiger wooden animals. They're beautiful quality, but they're really durable as well. And then this little barn is from Knifer Toys. It can also be a car garage as well. And also these little trees are from them too. My kids got these Hot Wheels vehicles from us for Easter. And these are the best. If you have a kid that loves Hot Wheels, loves monster trucks, this one is my one-year-old's. Yes, one-year-old, and he loves it. And this one is my three-year-olds. These are amazing quality and they're a little bit expensive. I think they're about 20 bucks or so here in Canada, but you will not regret those. They are an amazing gift. A Melissa and Doug puzzle. I usually try to offer my puzzles undone if I can. This one is done so you guys can see it. This is a personalized clock puzzle from Dazzle Your Puzzle. Again, I'll have a discount for this. Austin's clock. You can learn his shapes, his numbers, and you can get a personalized message on the back. So really love that. And then one of the top toys my kids got for Christmas from us is this Melissa and Doug car carrier. So I'm gonna show you how it works. So it does fold down nice and flat, and then they can bring it back up. My one-year-old and three-year-old both love this, and it's really big, but it's awesome. So I did have a mirror up and I did have some shelving there, but I have it all taken down for something new. And then here is my hack from the dollar store, putting together these little uh, cutlery trays for Hot Wheels storage, and then some more of those bird wall decals. I do have a light on so you can see the edges, but it's very seamless. You would not be able to see that normally. And here is our book storage. So this is a birth poster. So it's a one-to-one -one scale of both my sons when they were born. We have some items up here that I just don't want my kids to get their hands on without supervision. And then we have all of our books here. I do have some books put away because we do rotate them, but we have some out right now. I find when you rotate books, it does make them more fresh. When you rotate them, it's kind of exciting for them. It makes them new. And then these are the stepping stones from Two Sticks Canada, which are super fun. And these are Bosch PL blocks. These are really pricey, just so that you know. This was something that I got as a gift. So just as you're aware that they are beautiful, but they are pricey, but very well made and something that you can pass along, you know, to your grandchildren, definitely keep them. Lastly, you'll see our ruggable, washable rugs. So this top layer peels right off. You can throw it in the washing machine, but it is really stain resistant. So my son had a stain right here. I just took a little bit of dish soap and some water. I patted it and it came right out. It was actually crazy. I wish I had got it on video. So let me know guys if you have any questions about anything and I hope you guys have a great day.